Hi everybody, I'm Pablo, this is Electrified XP, and this is the Tesla Powerwall 3. I've had the Tesla Powerwall 3 for almost a year now, and I've gathered some super useful data. So today I wanna to share that with you so that those of you that have been questioning getting a solar system, a battery backup, you know, maybe this will give you some more information so that you can make a very well informed and educated decision on what's right for you. In early 2023, I had just installed a pool in my backyard and let me tell you, I learned pretty quickly that pools consume a lot of electricity. And not just in the summer, but in the winter as well. I went from averaging about $250 a month on electricity to about $540 a month. Before you guys go crazy in the comments below about why I consume so much energy, let me just give you some insights. First of all, I live in Texas. We use a lot of electricity here. The houses are big. My house is two stories. It's about 3,500 square feet. I've got two HVAC systems. One's a four and a half ton unit and one's a three ton unit. So this is a pretty substantial load in addition to the pool pump, as well as I've got two EVs in the garage. But the biggest consumer of all of it was definitely the pool. And actually my August electricity bill in 2023 jumped all the way up to $804, which was just mind blowing. At this point I was working full time for Good Faith Energy, so I knew I could definitely save if I went solar and I got a power wall. But little did I know, this was gonna be an absolute game changer. I decided that I wanted to get as much energy offset as I could, so I opted to go with an 18 kilowatt solar system with two Powerwall 2s, trying to offset about 80% of the electrical consumption. I signed the agreement with Good Faith Energy, and away went the engineers designing my system. Uh, well, kind of. So I kind of took the reins and designed the system somewhat myself, so apologies once again, Mo and Michael. You know me, come on. Good Faith Energy is a leader in the residential solar installation space and a longtime partner of Tesla. We were one of the top Tesla certified installers, meaning that we got early access to some of the products. A couple weeks after signing my deal with my employer to install my solar system, we got the call from the leaders at Tesla Energy to install the first pilot project for the Tesla Powerwall 3. As soon as Mo told me, I let him know that I wanted it and I wanted it bad. He let me make the change and within hours, I was working with our engineering team to design the new system. At that time, the offer was to install only one unit, so that's why we designed the system the way it's designed. I opted to increase the PV to 20 kilowatts, maxing out the Powerwall 3's solar input capacity. Not quite the backup capacity that I was looking for, but you can always scale up the battery capacity later, and in my case, as soon as the second battery or expansion pack became available on the market, that was definitely what I was planning on doing. I paired the Powerwall 3 with a Span Smart Electrical Panel, which in my opinion, is a must. I also got a Tesla Universal Wall Connector in addition to the NEMA 1450 that I already had installed. I'll have a future video about the SPAN Smart Electrical Panel, so make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you are notified as soon as that video comes out. I've got a couple other cool accessories, like a Wallbox Pulsar Plus with the power meter. This allows me to charge basically any EV exclusively from solar. But again, subscribe to this channel to learn about that in the near future. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is a next generation home battery designed for energy storage, offering improved capacity, efficiency, and integration with Tesla's energy ecosystem. The chemistry on this battery pack is lithium iron phosphate or LFP. It's safer, longer lasting, and more thermally stable compared to other battery chemistries. I anticipate that it's gonna reach at least 20 years before I replace it, maybe more. Some of the key features include the home integration. It can be integrated with the solar system to store excess solar energy for later use. It works seamlessly with the Tesla solar roof, Tesla solar panels, or basically any solar panel. So don't get caught up too much on which brand of solar panel, as long as it's an efficient one and it works well and it's been proven, go with that one with a 25 year warranty minimum. The Tesla Powerwall 3 provides backup power during grid outages, it supports critical loads like lights, appliances, and HVAC systems, and it can be configured for whole home backup or selective circuit backup, which is why I opted for the Span Smart Electric Panel, and that allows it to be a lot more automated so I can pre-configure which circuits that I want to stay on in the event of an outage. This thing's scalable, which means it can be stacked to increase the energy capacity, and it can support homes with higher energy needs like mine. It's got an app and remote monitoring. It's fully integrated with the Tesla mobile app, allowing remote monitoring and control of energy usage, charging, and discharge schedules. This thing supports Tesla virtual power plant participation, and it enables users to help stabilize the grid by discharging power when needed, which is available in certain regions for now, but hopefully it'll expand pretty soon. The Tesla Powerwall 3 offers a 10-year warranty, but like I said before, I expect this thing's going to last between 15 and 20 years at least before it just degrades a little bit, so I'm sure you can hang on to this thing for quite a while. It's got improved design. It's slim, it's compact, and it's wall-mountable. 
for easier installation and integration into home environments. I say it's easier to install and trust me, I come from a solar installation company and easy installation means the price for the consumer goes down and it means that the installer will be happy. So you don't want your power to be out for a super long time during one of these installs. I know this because <laughs> you lose internet and if it's in the summertime, it's gonna be hot. So you definitely want this system installed easily and the Tesla Powerwall 3 has definitely done that for us. Some of the enhanced features in the Powerwall 3 compared to previous models are higher efficiency in terms of energy conversion. It's got improved heat management and battery cooling for better performance in a wide range of temperatures. It has enhanced safety features due to the use of lithium iron phosphate chemistry, which is super important in my opinion. And it's got better integration with the Tesla ecosystem as a whole. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is built for homeowners seeking a reliable and scalable energy storage solution, particularly in areas with frequent power outages or where solar energy is a primary source of electricity like here in Texas. Now let's go over the data from the first nine months. I actually got this system installed in February of 2024, so I'm getting pretty close to a year. So my apologies on being just short, but I wanted to share this video sooner rather than later so that you guys could get some more information and have your system installed before summertime when it actually counts. After this thing was installed, it took a little while for the Tesla Electric VPP to kick in. The integration and the commissioning took longer than I expected, but the solar panels were working like solar panels, so I was already starting to save right away. This normally happens faster, but when you have the first of any product or a beta test or a pilot project, you can always expect that there's gonna be some slower parts that don't work as perfect as you expect they will on day one. Trust me, I am no newbie to a beta installation or a pilot project. My garage is full of products that were installed first and uh, I have a lot of fun doing that kind of stuff, but it also comes with some compromises. I was thrilled when I received my first full month's electric bill, March 16th, 2024 through April 15th. It was $85.17. That was a huge drop from the prior year for the exact same month where I paid $404.73. Just note that I did finance a portion of the solar system that was installed, so you can add roughly $100 per month to the electric bill to account for that. But still, we're talking about $220 worth of savings right out of the gate. Talk about an immediate ROI. The next few months are where I saw the biggest impact because in Texas, we get a lot of sun in the summertime and a 20 kilowatt solar system is quite a monster. Remember when I mentioned my 2023 August electric bill was $804? Here's a breakdown of my 2023 versus 2024 electric bills. The craziest thing is a setup like mine paired with a Tesla electric VPP is basically a set and let it do its thing ecosystem. I do in fact try to game it as much as possible, like charging to 90% on the weekends or enabling solar charging any chance I get. But for the most part, I don't really have to do too much. In 2023, for the same nine months, I averaged $540 a month. In 2024, with the 20 kilowatt solar system and the Tesla Power All 3, I averaged $240 a month and that includes my loan payment. Wild. In the Tesla app, I recently got a breakdown of my year in review, kind of like what you see on YouTube or the Spotify app at the end of the year. So check it out, here it is. They call it Tesla Recharged, your electrifying year with the Powerwall. In nine months, I generated 20.3 megawatt hours of energy with an average offset of 84% and that surpassed my 80% goal. This meant that I was self-powered for 56% of my total energy consumed. And when you factor in the energy that I exported to the grid and the fuel for two electric cars that drove over 22,000 miles each this year, this energy was valued at $2,840. Last year, I spent close to $5,000 over the same nine months on electricity. This year, I spent less than half of that at only $2,160. Most people in Texas spend more than that on gas for a single car that averages 15,000 miles per year. Think about that for a second. This is the electricity cost of a large house with a pool, plus the cost of fueling two premium cars that don't require maintenance or oil changes and drive way more than the average 40 miles per day that most Americans drive. Solar punk, I'll take it. So what's next? I'm thinking a Powerwall 3 expansion pack might be a good bet. I believe that it's gonna cover its cost, double my battery backup capacity, and I think it's gonna look pretty good in the space that I accounted for when I was designing the system in the first place, but we'll talk more about that in the future. In a later video, I wanna get into things like peak events, charge on solar, storm watch, and a pretty cool little hack that I added to my system. But that's for another video because I could definitely talk about that for hours. So once I do take the plunge and install the expansion pack, I'll definitely have Good Faith Energy doing the work despite no longer working there. Those guys are the best. Don't listen to me, just look at their reviews. If you're interested in getting a quote for the Tesla Powerwall 3, 
solar panels, Tesla solar roof, or a bi-directional charger, please email me so I can put you in touch or tell them that I sent you. It'll really help. Full transparency, they're not gonna change the price on your system just by telling them that I referred you, but it will help me jumpstart this channel because they'll cut me a little commission for the referral. Anyway, for those of you that are still watching, I really appreciate you and hope that you found some interesting information here. I'll have more interesting videos in the future about solar, power wall, Tesla solar roof, bi-directional charging, EVs and more. So definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment below, share it with your friends and family. And I really appreciate you guys. So if you're still sticking around and you caught the whole video, thanks very much. And I will catch you in the next one.